Springtime off Miami, Florida is arguably the very best period to fish here. Sailfish are the headliners, and Carl Grass and I will attempt to show you just how good the bite could be. It's all coming up on this episode of World of Saltwater Fishing. George Vovaromo's World of Saltwater Fishing. Big fish don't stand a chance. The anticipation when you clear an inlet, uh, you like, you become one with your boat and you add Hallover Inlet to the mix, which is in North Miami Beach. That's where I grew up. So I consider Hallover still my hometown waters. And you clear that inlet, which I affectionately call the bull ring because it's tight narrow and can get very nasty on you very rapidly and here you go we hook to the south it's may which means there are a lot of fish coming through specifically sailfish so george and i clear the inlet uh first thing we start looking to see what the weather looks like it's a beautiful clear day uh the water is just pristine green blue we had everything else going in place solid color change 200 feet of water good bottom structure. You saw flying fish around, just everything looked perfect. So with a southeast wind of around 10 to 15 knots, we decided to set out deep around 300 feet of water. That would give us an opportunity to get the kite baits out as well as the flat line. So by the time that everything was set, that drift would take us from deep into shallow. We we're gonna work a window roughly from around 280 maybe 300 feet on into 90 feet of water and find out the zones where these sailfish were feeding. Carl's in charge of the fishing kite, working three baits off the kite. I was in charge of the down current side. I was gonna fish two deep baits and at times fish two surface oriented baits. So I have all the uh, kite baits deployed. I have three baits out. George is fishing on the opposite side of the boat because the kite's on one side, so I'm fishing on the starboard side. George is on the port side of the boat, so he has probably one like a 40 feet, a flat line, and then another boat bait maybe 60 feet down. And then all of a sudden the stern line goes off and George is hooked up. Fish skyrockets, starts spinning and taking off. Oh, that big sail, look at him just taking up to the air. That's where this high speed pin comes in, man. I can keep tight to this fish, I think. I don't know, I may have pulled him. Now I pulled, pull the hook. All right. Ah, oh, man. And then all of a sudden, boom, cuts off. 30 pound fluorocarbon, get the strikes, and but gotta feather him. I didn't feather him. Sure enough, as soon as we seen that fish launch, you could see the size of this fish and how powerful it was. It seemed like these fish were like energized because it's early, you know, May here. Water's still kind of cool. We haven't gotten that hotter water yet. And this fish was just on fire, spinning, jumping, you know, went down for a little bit and then all of a sudden came right back up and started tail walking again, which was putting on a really good show. George and I started talking about it. And one of the things we had was pretty light leaders on there. Usually we're running a 40 or 50 pound leader. George had 30 on that. So that's the point there where we start saying to ourselves, maybe we need to step it up a little bit. If these sailfish are here to catch one of them, we're gonna have to step it up to like 40 or 50 pound test. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. Mako, you'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. George, we'll be right back. After coming up short on officially releasing our first sailfish of the day, we reset our drift. Carl Grassi and I are targeting large sailfish during their spring run off Miami. During our drifts, as we started off deep and worked away in the shallow and started to encroach upon this color change with the rip, where we wanted to fish, we had this northbound current and we had that inshore slope water and there was a temperature break, about a half a degree, and you had weeds everywhere and we were over a really good bottom. We had to really work to give our baits the soak time as they deserved as we were coming through this rip. We're gonna target all of the water columns. So we have the top baits on the kite. We have a flat line going out that's probably 10, 15 feet into the water. And then we have two down lines with weights on them. So now we're targeting from, let's say 70 feet down all the way to the surface. And of course, you just don't know what's gonna go off first. And sure enough, 
it seemed like the hot ticket was the bottom lines. Thank you, and he's, he's trucking like the pig sales do. He's going seaward. I don't want to put too much heat. And got a 40 liter. Hey, let him, let him, let him oh, kick it up. Nice kick jump. it up. Kick it up. Check that out. Beating the water to a froth. This is what you come out here for. This is incredible. No matter how many times you've seen this. He is putting a show on, that's for sure. Yeah, he's going to keep trucking, so I don't know if we get a position we might have to crab if he stretches too much out. All right, let me know. All right. In the meantime, I'll just have fun with him. Hey, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> he might have to bump me back. He's he's doing what those big sales do, the spring sales. They start going to bimini. All of a sudden, here comes a sailfish tail walk and takes off, and we're hooked up. Peels off about 100 yards of line, and we start backing down on it. Still a little light set, but good all the way around. Just got to not overdo it and pressure it and just take your time, creep back on the fish. And it's good for the fish because we're not wearing it out by force it to run. And so hopefully we can get them on the leader. It still has a lot of energy left and get that hook out, let it go. But that remains to be seen. That fish is still way out there. Well, the good thing is you're gaining on them. That is good, yeah. The fish is trying to come up, I whoever, up yeah, I, I see, see him up I in the bow. Him. All right. So we're good. Okay, they're he should good? be going to leader here pretty quick, uh, hopefully. Okay, Shay, here he is on the top. There he is, look at that view, right there, Carl, look. Right here, Carl, you get him. He's got to tip it over towards the boat That's a little right. bit, George. There you go. All right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, yes, how's she looking? Looking good. It's kicking. That's what we want. I'm good anytime you're ready. All right, you want me to let it go? Sure. Like you saying, they're, they're on the deep bait so far today. And, uh, you know, we got the kite baits up and all that, but it's just the deep. And the thing is the size of these fish. These are big Spring. sail. Yeah, I mean, Miami <laughs> sail fish. they are big and fighting hard. That fish made four or five good runs and we had to track, you know, go after him, track him down. Yeah. But uh, all said and done, he swam away, he's healthy. Everything's great. These are the big springtime sailfish. And let me tell you, when you hook one of those and you come solid, the acrobatics are totally incredible. Then when they get their bearing and they're down, then they start just charging offshore. It's almost like you're going to Bimini. Now, Carl is up and about working the kite baits. That close kite bait was probably 50 feet away from the boat. Here comes a sailfish on the close bait and it's starting to make it circle. So now we're all, look at this, check this sailfish out. And you just see him hit it with a bill and push it off, then eat it right in front of you. He's eating it. You, you got him on the leader, there's one release. That was a quick one. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Him down, buddy. That was a quick wow. one. Quick release, you Woo! got him. <laughs> it's illegal, just so you know. You did it, yes it is. Let me get this out of the way for you. Oh, man. Now remember, it got the lighter leader, so. Oh yeah, look at him, putting on the show. Man, he's smoking. He is smoking some drag, George. All right, just let him do it. I got a hook up here, too. Hook up over here. This is when you start to get real lonely in the boat, when George gets a bite and you're hooked up, because now your best friend has just left you. <laughs> and I don't think he's coming back to help me. Hey, 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 Carl, whatever you want. I'm going something deep here. No, fight it. Let's do it. I'm good. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Look at that. He, he, I got a good fish here. All right. One king in a boat. George, you ready? Uh, hang on. I got to get him in a the box. There you go. It's illegal. You're back on the leader. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> Perfect. He's turning, turning, turning. All righty, George. There's your fish. You're doing good, Carl. Just a look, let me just touch the leader. Okay. To release a sailfish, grasp the bill close to its base. Keep your thumbs opposed to maintain control of the fish 
and to push it away from you should it surge aggressively. Remove the hook, or if deeply embedded, clip the leader close to the fish's jaw. Always keep the fish in the water as removing it can seriously injure it. Revive the fish by pushing water through its gills, typically accomplished by slightly motoring forward. Check that out. Look at the colors on the dirty edge of the rip. Right on the blue-green. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Simrad, 75 years of innovation in marine electronics. Rapala holds the world record for world records. Suffix, always use the best line. Starbright Boat Care Products, clean and protect. George, we'll be right back. With our drift and bait presentations dialed in, Carl Grassi and I look to add to the Sailfish Scorecard. We're fishing out of North Miami's Hollow Inlet. I have to give a call out to TNT Marine in North Miami, my long-standing Merck dealership, Guy Radiano in particular. Whenever I'm down here shooting a television series, or even if I want to come down and fun fish for three or four days, he's kind enough to let me put the Mark VI alongside his dock at the service center. Uh, one of Mercury's largest dealerships. It's just a first-class operation with just a lot of skilled personnel in here. And I can't say enough good things about them. They always take very good care of me. And Guy's dock is always open when I bring the Mark VI down here. Uh, again, can't say enough good things about TNT Marine, North Miami Beach. When you're set up and you're live baiting as we were, and you have all the water column covered with several different kinds of rigs, it was amazing how Usually, in my opinion, I think the kite rod is the money rod, as I put it. And that's where you're gonna get the most bang for the buck. But I have to say, in this particular day, the bottom rods were just kicking butt. They were catching fish after fish after fish. Up near the top, what do we have? Oh, a sailfish. All right. We got our sail. Oh, here, look, 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 here he's kicking it up. I might be joining you over there. <laughs> Look at him, keep waking up All from right, the, other the other way. Go the other way. Go that way. Uh-oh, he ain't gonna do that. Oh, you gotta lift your far bait, so you gotta lift me in the air to let me get under you. Oh, going under this way. All right. All right. We actually made oh, it Oh, man, under. look, he's all the way over to the right. He's going to Bimini. <laughs> he done gone crazy. Go to show you fishing these deep baits, and this one very lethargic on the hookup. Almost felt shark-like. Got a couple head shakes. I'm watching that line angle up. It's got to be a sail, and sure enough, hook to the air. Just now, finally waking up. Hey, right here, guys. Neutral. Let me know if you can turn them or if you need me to do now, something. Go back up. Just do what you're doing. Neutral. Guys, I'm going to give you a little bit here. right here to get away from them. Clear. On the leader. Look, look, look. Coming up. On the leader. Nice big fish. Oh, pretty, pretty, right, pretty. Our time. He's, we got him on the lead, got a release on him. All right. Circle him around if you can one more time. Oh, look at that hook. That thing is barely hooked, George. Don't get speared. <sighs> got him oh, on the yeah. blend? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> look at the purples the in on him. That. Purple. Man, he's pretty. You want to release or? All right, you ready? Yeah, that's all right, Carl. In motion there, right? anytime you want. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Here he goes. That gives you a fine example of how you have to fish the entire water column. You just can't go out there and be a kite fisherman. You gotta put the flat lines out. You have to put the bottom line out. You have to put the time in, and it seems like you have a lot of rigs out, but you know what's gonna produce. And when it does, you're gonna have a fantastic day on the water. And I have to say that these fish were wearing us out. We were like running from one end of the boat to the other. Oh, 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 selfish on this one. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Oh, oh he's, is he on? I think, okay, come on out. We're changing plans. I'll come back here if you need it. Is that the close one or far? Go for it. And I'll, I'll back you down, I'll come out. <laughs> this fish skyrocketed at least 10 feet in the air. I'll take the clicker off when you get a chance. Come tight, keep tight though. Look at him kick, look at him kick. Look at the jumps on that fish. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that's just so acrobatic. And I just finessed him with that light little eater. Are you gaining on him or? Oh! Yeah. 
Yeah, it's coming right at us. Get that leader. He's you legal got right him. now. You got him. He's lit up. Go forward, forward, forward if you can. To the right a little bit. It's leader, just so you know. Good. Oh man, look at the purples in them. I bring it up the them. Come on. A little bit more. All right, let me get the hook out of him. Here, okay, hook is off. All right. He is purple as can be. And you're gone. Got to touch him. Woo! All right. The whole process, selfish billing it, then eating it, jumping, it, it just some of the amazing things that uh, to this day just, just totally excite me. And that, that's why we go out and we do what we do. George's Tackle Locker, brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. What is authentication? For King Sailfish mounts, it's the little things that make a huge difference in creating a release mount which mirrors an angler's catch, right down to specific tears and unique color patterns. For example, King Sailfish utilizes downturn eyes versus industry standard static eyes. This brings yet another element of realism to your trophy. Any rips or tears in fins or flesh are also part of the artistic preparation as are detailed internal mouths, excretion vents, and even skin textures. So when it's time to release a fish, take a measurement of its overall length, either alongside the boat for billfish, tarpon, and other large catches, or for smaller game fish against an inboard measuring tape. Take a quick picture or two of the lit up fish and of any unique markings and release it to fight yet another day. Provide this information and images to King Sailfish and their talented artists will go right to work on an ultra realistic replica of your catch. Yes, you can now have your trophy catch and release it too. Mercury Performance Stats, Miami Sailfish. Seas, two to four feet. Power, triple Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards. Props, Mercury Inertia Eco 21 inch pitches. Total miles traveled, 46. Consistent cruise, 4,400 RPMs. Speed, 42 to 44 miles per hour. Total fuel burn, 45 gallons. We'll be right back. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum. Never a spectator. Float on, the original aluminum immersible boat trailer. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. I have to say a lot of the fish we're catching here uh, are big sailfish. I mean, these are like huge fish that I've, I've seen billfish before, but never this big and this many of them. We catch this unusual looking fish and we can see that he doesn't have a bill. Oh, he's going right in the sunlight now. I don't see him. <laughs> he's going that way though. That's yeah, one good thing. Yeah, they start like the other one. He's going to hook to the right, baby. But a chunky one though, but out of out of bill. On the leader, here he comes. Touch, here, he's legal. Coming down your way, Carl. Look at that, the bill's broke off. Real, real, real. I got you. Keep reeling. Not as easy when I, I don't got have you a bill. Here. Don't you worry, I got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> it got a little tough, but a little right, short relax, bill. buddy, I'm gonna let you go. And then we get him in and you can see, we, we catch him, we bill him. And as we're releasing them, you know, George and I are talking back and forth. And I said, one of the neat things here is, here's a fish with no bill. It's healed over and look how big and healthy he is. He's still feeding. That's his food sources, that bill to beat up some fish and swipe at him, the bait fish to catch him. But yet he's still making it happen. So uh, just goes to show you that they can function without their bill. It's a very healthy and strong fish out there right now. You want a good wrap? The wrap is springtime off of Miami. You come here March, April, and as we were doing the very beginning of May, you have exceptional fishing here, arguably the finest offshore fishing to be had within that time zone. The action was just amazing. Uh, it was like, I, I would say it's like epic day, and you have those days, and when you do have one of those days, you just like, you're driving home in the boat, going back to the inlet to go and haul over, and you're just thinking to yourself, can it get any better? Can you have any more fun on the water? It seemed like the day flew by, but we were out there for eight hours, it seemed like, you know, and every day, every time you're on the water, you think, can it get any better? And sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't, but this was a fantastic day. As we proved, Carl Grass and I, you come out here in that time frame, you get the right water 
quality conditions and you set up an effective live bait spread, you'll catch sailfish. Carl and I went five for seven sailfish that day off of Miami. And like I said, it's an old hometown for me and it surely does not disappoint in the spring. If you want to keep track of our fishing adventures, we welcome you to follow us on our social media. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo. I'm on Instagram at George Poveromo. And you can see our shows in 4K broadcast quality on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is George Poveromo TV. Jump aboard and ride along with us.